Hello, Black Empress. Welcome back to Black Empress Oracle, okay? Thank y'all so much for being here, my loves. I hope you are doing well and finding peace along your journeys, okay? We're going to go ahead and get into another reading, but I did want to clarify a few things. Anything you need to know about me is in the description box below, okay? Oh, my son's not going to... Yes! Come in, baby. Go ahead. What? What? Tell me. Well, I made six more dollars. You made six more dollars? Yes. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Give me a high five. Awesome. So did you have a good day? Yeah. Well, did your strategy work better this way? Yeah. Okay, good. What did you sell? Just chips. Yeah, that was all. Just chips? Yeah. A lot of people like hot chips. <laughs> That is true. A lot of people do like hot chips, baby. Let me finish this video and we'll talk some more. All right. I'm glad you're home. <laughs> All right, Black Empress. Thank you so much. I am grateful to have you guys here. I am grateful to understand your situations. Anything, like I said, that you need to know about me is in the description box below. My website is in the description box below, which you can find personal reading information there. Also, my other channels are in the description box below. My social media is in the description box below. So if you have not followed me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, I would greatly appreciate it, okay? I would greatly appreciate you follow me there, okay, you guys? And also Patreon is below if you are interested in world predictions, twin flame readings, or just regular monthly zodiac readings, okay, you guys? One more addition to the description box is my petition. I have created a petition in an attempt to assist with racial equality, okay? Being as this is Black Empress Oracle, I wanna make something very clear. Just because I have Black Empress Oracle as a channel to uplift Black women does not mean that I feel that any particular race is greater than another, okay? I know race is a touchy subject for whatever reason. I mean, it it pretty much rules over everything in our country. It rules over everything in the world. You know, that little thing called race that nobody wants to talk about, but that always rears its ugly head. And I'm, you know, quite frankly, me personally, I'm tired. So I created a petition that would hopefully, at least in the United States, create some type of change or at least a conversation about change in regards to racial inequality and injustice. So if you are interested in finding out more about that, I would appreciate greatly if you were to click the description box, <laughs> the description box link below. And if you're so inclined to sign the petition, okay? I'm just tired of the whole conversation. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of dealing with it. I know it's not going to be ended overnight. And I don't mean to um, diminish anybody else's viewpoints. However, I feel like people should make a choice in their life as to who they want to be, regardless of any other stipulations that come into play. I feel like people should just be able to be humans. And until we're able to understand that, then there's not going to be any unity or equality amongst humans ever. All we're going to continue to do is keep destroying each other. So it doesn't matter what color you identify with, what race, what ethnicity, even the, your religion. It doesn't matter. If we continue to not see each other as equal, then there will be no equality. 
And I feel like a great step into treating each other as equal is listed in my petition below. So you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Because as black women, we are our own people, but we are humans first. So we need to understand as black women, how and what we want to accept, how we want to be accepted and how we want to accept things in our lives. I feel like maybe you guys have been grappling with this. There's so much talk about black women and black women this and black women that. Like, I don't know if it's just a conversation going on amongst black women or if it's starting to escalate. I feel like it's starting to escalate to a higher level. But there's so much conversation about black women and all of these different things that I just feel like. I don't know. I'm getting tired. So I don't know if that's how you guys feel or what, but there's it's just so much. It's just so many stipulations about what it means to be a black woman. How do you accept black women? All of these other things. Like, can we just be humans? Can we all just be humans and be people and not see any difference in each other because of our choices and just understand that we're all human? I mean, are we capable of doing that as people? So, well, Spirit, what you want me to tell my Black Empresses? What is it? Guardian Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, Father, Mother, God. What is the message for my Black Empresses? So we have indecision. There's something that you are trying to decide to do. There's a decision that you are trying to make. I feel like in regards to your destiny, in regards to your fate, in regards to, you know, having balance in your life. I just heard pick a side. I don't know. But I feel like you're being um, forced to, drawn to, or urged to pick a side in a situation or to make a choice between two different avenues, maybe career paths relationship paths, maybe two different people. What else is the message for my black emphasis? I just heard pick a side. What else is the message? Okay. Financial constraints flipped out in the reverse and the sun flipped out upright. So I feel like you guys have a decision to make about your finances, about your career path, about the destination at which you are going with your money or with your profession. I feel like you're happy doing something or you, you're going to receive some type of enlightenment or clarity about the direction you need to choose. I hate picking sides and I keep hearing it. Pick a side, pick a side. Or pick something, pick one, pick the other. Pick, 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 pick. A choice. I don't know that I feel like you're being forced to make, but I feel like you're gonna make the right choice. You have victory at the bottom. So you're gonna be given some type of clarity as to the direction at which you wanna take your life and I feel like it's going to cause, I feel like it's going to cause you to have a lot of exposure. I feel like it's going to cause you to have a lot of recognition, but you're also going to be very happy and you're going to be feeling victorious. Healer of the ages is at the back. So I feel like you are very enlightened in your heart and in your crown chakra with this healer of the ages card to make changes. You were drawn, I feel, to make changes on an individual level. But now you're also being drawn to initiate those changes within other people. That's really what I feel. So you guys could be influencers. You guys could be activists. 
you guys may be fighting for a cause and trying to raise money for said cause, trying to get exposure. I feel like whenever I'm going through something spiritually, whoever is drawn to me spiritually and energetically is going through similar situations. I feel like whatever it is that you are wanting to change or maybe adjust in your life or in the lives of others comes from an individual level of wanting to see change for your children, for your family, for your community. And I feel like because you want that change for yourself and where you live, you're fighting for that change in regards to other people as well. I do feel like whatever you are trying to heal, whatever you may be trying to fix or rectify, you will be victorious. I feel like you have a bright idea, but it's like you have to figure out how you're going to go about doing it. You may be, um, you may need funding, you may need donors, you may need um, financial support, but I feel like you don't have to worry about that with financial constraints in the reverse. I feel like a light is going to be shown on you and there's going to be support given or a path. One of these paths that you're trying to choose is going to be illuminated, but you're going to have to be able to find the courage to follow it. Okay. Because I feel like if you follow the path, I just heard the road less traveled. So if you follow the path that's being illuminated to you, regardless of whether or not it's the road less traveled, I feel like you will gain victory, okay, recognition, support, okay? So what is the message, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for my black empresses? What is the message? Two of cups. So you could be networking. You could be... Um, advocating for your cause or the cause of someone else, speaking up for others, okay? You could be making new friends, new business connections, maybe even striking up new business deals between you and another person. Some of you guys could be trying to figure out who you're going to pick between two different people romantically, you know? What else is the message? The lovers. Okay. I feel like this is about overcoming obstacles in regards to what you're passionate about. So honestly, I don't just think that this is love or relationships. I feel like this is your career, your life path. Which direction are you going to go in? What type of ideas are you going to identify with okay i feel like you guys may remember a time or you have imprints on your dna of a time where You may have had to fight for a cause in the past, or you may have been a strong leader. Like you may have been a king. You may have been someone very wealthy or in a position of power in a past life. That is why you're being called to such affairs in this present life. Okay. I feel as if financial or material obstacles that you may be being faced with are basically being knocked down. It's like you're using whatever tools that you have at your disposal and for whatever reason, it's working out. You may not have the best equipment. You may not have the best products necessarily to choose from at this time. But it's working out. And you're like, damn, how am I getting through all of these things? I feel like you have you have a decision that is 
not easy. It, it may be extremely difficult, but it's like, you know that you need to do this. What, what else is the message? Queen of Wands. It's like, you're confident. Okay, you're confident in yourself. You're confident in what you believe in. You're confident in your cause. And it really, it's like you have courage. You have courage beyond belief. And it really doesn't matter what choice you make. I feel like you're going to be successful either way. But I feel like spirit is drawing you to choose something that you're passionate about. Okay. Something that mentally you may be afraid of, but that you know is the right decision or the right choice or the right path to follow. Okay. What's the two of cups? Four of swords. Page of swords. What else is the two of cups? What else is the two of cups? The fool, yeah. So you're deciding to go down a new path. You're decided you're deciding to maybe switch careers, switch professions, switch specialties. Okay, so some of you may be in the medical field or in like the beauty industry. Maybe you're switching um specialties. I feel like you have a new idea or something that there's something that you have. It's like a eureka moment that I feel with this fool card and the page of swords. You've discovered something. You have a dream that you, man, I'm getting like Martin Luther King vibes. I feel like you have a dream that you want to pursue. And it's like a eureka moment. It's like, you know exactly what you're meant to be doing. Six of swords, but it's, I feel that you're waiting to move forward or you could be waiting on specific instructions from your spirit guides as to how to move forward. I think that's wise. I feel like some of you guys are deciding to cut off a relationship with someone. I feel like some of you could be deciding between two people. Some of you could be deciding between two career paths or two specialties within your career. Some of you could be deciding between romance, relationship, and career. You could be deciding between certain friendships and your career. You could be deciding between certain friendships and your relationship. But I feel like you are being guided to move forward. And I feel like you want to move forward very quickly, but there may be some delays or there may be some things that you need to think about you want to invest in something but there may be some things that you're being forced to think about maybe that you have no control over delays that you have no control over I feel like you want to heal relationships. Okay. The relationships of anyone. So whatever that may mean to you, it's like you want to fix people's relationships. Whether that's their romantic relationships, family relationships. It's like you feel like you've discovered a new way of doing things. You want to fix people's connections. Okay, so this may be some medical connection that you have a specialty in. 
or this may be an emotional. I feel like it's either um, mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual. You want to be able to fix people's connections. And it's like you have to choose which way that you're going to go, what you're going to focus on to do this. Like, how can I reach a larger audience? Or like, how can I be discovered? How can I get people talking so that I can, you know, so that I can start this new journey? What's the lovers? Maybe you guys feel like you need investments or backing, some type of sponsor or support. Yeah, three of cups. What else is the lovers? Eight of swords, see? What else is the lovers? Three of cups, eight of swords. Five of Swords. I feel like you're worried about money. I feel like you're worried about obstacles that you may face, like maybe not having enough energy, not having enough money, maybe not having enough support. I feel like that's what you're worried about. And I feel like the five of swords and this financial constraints in reverse is saying, you know, especially with the three of cups, it's like you're worried that you won't have the energy or the ability to fight for this cause or to take on this new endeavor. But I feel like you will because financial constraints is in reverse. Like I feel like there's going to be support coming from all sides. I feel like you're going to be very happy with the results that you see. You're gonna be very happy with how people come together to lift you up and fight for you in this situation. You're gonna receive power and I wanted to say influence maybe from other people to fight for this cause you're going to receive the courage and the strength to maybe start this business go out on your own to create your own shop or your own practice Because your 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 not just your intuition, your intuition is probably telling you this, but it's like your intentions are pure. So it's like you want to bring people together, and I feel like you're bringing people together. It's like you're spreading love and wealth and knowledge. It's like people want you to tell them everything about their life through tarot. But it's really just like rough themes. No one can tell you the future about your situation. No one can determine the future about your situation. Your actions, your thoughts, and your intentions determine the outcome of your situation. So I feel like with this Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, it's like it depends on whether or not you believe that this is going to work out. Because the Eight of Swords is here and it's like whatever obstacles that you're afraid of or whatever obstacles that you feel you are going to have to face in this situation are causing you to doubt yourself. Maybe what other people are saying are causing you to doubt yourself. Maybe you have an unpopular opinion and you go back and forth in your mind about whether or not you have enough energy to give to this. And that's really what I feel. 
It's like, will you be able to fight for this? Will you be able to come out on top? Maybe from all the, you know, haters and the naysayers who don't believe in what you're doing. And I feel like the less you worry about that anxiety or the less that you worry about what people are going to think and the more you just do what your heart tells you is right, the better off you're going to end up. And I feel like confidence is key here, okay? One of the notifications you just heard was my affirmations. It says, I don't need to be perfect to be attractive. So I feel like in this situation, maybe even your approach. Oh, shit. The moon card and the chariot. So maybe you don't know which direction to take whatever this is that you're doing. I feel like maybe you don't know where to start. Start somewhere. Start at square one. Maybe look up options of how you can start a business or how you can start whatever this is that you want to do. Just start somewhere, okay? And I feel like if you are confident and reassured and know that you're protected no matter what. That the universe protects those who have integrity. Even if it doesn't seem like it, that's what it is. If you believe that without a shadow of a doubt, you're going to know exactly what you need to do when you need to do it. What's this Queen of Wands? I feel like the universe, she, see? What did I say? The will of fortune. I feel like the universe wants you to have confidence in whatever this is that you're starting, whatever this is that you're dreaming of, whatever this is that you want to do. It's like you have a dream. Like literally I'm getting like Martin Luther King vibes. So I'm getting like you want to heal people's relationships. You want to bring people together. You want to fight for equality. What's the queen of wands? Hermit. You want to help teach people how to move on, maybe from situations that don't serve them, that don't serve their life, that don't benefit their health. You could definitely be trying to make sure people are healthier, more in shape. You want to be able to have progress. You want people to learn how to be confident about their progress. So I'm getting like beauty consulting or I'm getting like, I don't know. I'm getting like health things. I'm getting beauty things. I'm getting like activism. It's giving all of that. It's giving anything that has to do with confidence. You know, life coach, relationship coach, coach, nutritionist. What's the Wheel of Fortune and Hermit and the Queen of Wands? Yeah, you, it's like, it's like spirit wants you to be confident in your decisions because you're going to be an example to show other people how to be confident in their decisions. So whatever this is that you're going towards, it's like you're going to be teaching other people how to make confident choices in their life. See, Six of Wands, Ace of Cups. I feel like a lot of people are going to love you for whatever this is. I feel like you're going to be recognized. I feel like there is going to be a level of affluence. Um, with the Sun card, like maybe you're an influencer um, in some way. A health influencer, a beauty influencer, an activism influencer, whatever. But you're influencing people in a certain way. Then you have Six of Wands, which is the tarot version of victory. Victory right here in the Sun card. And financial constraints in reverse. So whatever problems that or obstacles that you're facing are going to be removed. They're going to be eliminated. You're going to be shown the way through this sunlight, the, the way that you need to go is going to be illuminated. And I feel like you may start some commotion. 
However, I feel whatever obstacles that you feel like you have in your way at this time, when you watch this video, they're going to be overcome. But you have to get out of your head. You have to stop being afraid of whatever it is that you want to accomplish and put all of your energy and effort into fighting for whatever this is. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what the advice is. Signs that are out here are Virgo, Gemini, and that's kind of it. Maybe Cancer, Virgo, Gemini, maybe Cancer and Libra, possibly, but it doesn't matter really. Leo with the sun over here. What is the advice for my black empresses? Guardian angels are angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. No need to worry. See what I'm saying? I feel like there's no need for you to stress about this. There's no need for you to worry because I feel like you're worried about whether or not you'll be successful. Whether or not things will work out the way you want or the way you see for yourself. But I feel like you don't need to worry. I feel like whenever you are posed with this question about which direction to go in, you will be given with this page of swords, you'll be given the answers that you need to be victorious and successful. And it's probably gonna come from your spirit guides. It's probably gonna come from God, whoever you believe in, your guardian angels. They're gonna give you the answers you need as you move along your path. Can I get one more card for advice? Let go. So let go of your fears, I feel. There's no need to worry. Let go of your worries, your stress, your fears. I feel like everything is taken care of. At the bottom, we have remain positive. Oh, my God. And at the back, we have no. So I feel like remain positive about people telling you no. Like, don't assume that the answer is going to be no if you don't ask. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I love y'all very much. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you like what you see, sign my petition, join Patreon, and just be, okay? Bye.